Hey there, viewers! Your body is a phenomenal machine, but like all machines, it has limitations and needs. These include things like rest, nutritious food, water, and nutrients. When you're not getting this, it results in something called heat cramps. No matter what stage of life you're at, these cramps will give you painful muscle spasms. In today's video, we're looking at heat cramps and how you can prevent them. Is age a factor? What about dehydration? Does the climate you live in have anything to do with it? We're talking all that and more. What exactly are heat cramps? A twitchy feeling accompanied by pain in the muscles is a characteristic feature of heat cramps. It's usually the outcome of the illness, super strenuous physical activity and hot weather, but more on those in a bit. Heat cramps can bring on heat illness, which will hit you with a lot worse than just a cramp. Your body gets overheated and after reaching a certain limit starts shutting down. This is a heat stroke. Have you ever suffered from a heat stroke? What led to it? How did you recover? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our bestie community. So what causes heat cramps? There are many electrolytes present in our bodies, but sodium, potassium, and calcium are the three key electrolytes among them. They are required in small amounts to maintain bodily fluids, muscle function, and proper functioning of the nervous system. A dip in sodium levels is enough to cause severe electrolyte loss, which may result in heat cramps. Only a well-hydrated body can function at its optimum level. More than half of your body is just water. Body fluids act as a coolant and regulate body temperature. When mixed with blood, they help transport much-needed nutrients wherever they're required in the body. But there are a few conditions that can put your body in a state of dehydration. Simply not drinking enough water is one. There's also intense sweating, working out in the heat, high fever, vomiting, and diarrhea. Now, your body sends you signals way before you start cramping. Sudden thirst, dry mouth, severe headache, and dark-colored urine are a few things to watch out for. If you notice any of these things happening, make sure you have some water. Number two, exercise and outdoor work. It is so refreshing to step out for a quick jog, but it's a risky move on an extremely hot day. Hard labor in hot temperatures is enough to give you a bad heat cramp. You're pushing your body past its limit. Intense sweat along with dehydration and electrolyte imbalance only makes your situation worse. But it's not just hot weather, cold temperatures can be just as bad. During the winter season, you go outside wearing layered clothing. Too many clothes can generate heat and prevent sweat from evaporating. The evaporation of sweat is our body's natural way of cooling down. If you can't do this properly, your body will start cramping. People with predominantly outdoor jobs are at a greater risk. Being out is part of their jobs and cannot be compromised. Roofers and construction workers are a few of them who have to face hot temperatures for an awfully long amount of time. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. Number three, fun in the sun. Like I said, hot temperatures are brutal for your cramps, but it's not just hard exercise that leaves you vulnerable to this. A beach could be the perfect vacation until heat cramps set in. You can get them just by sitting out in the sun for a little bit. Hot and humid temperatures trigger your body's temperature to shoot up. Your body reacts to this trigger by cooling down from within. Your body's fluids are lost in the form of sweat through the skin. This is an attempt from your body's eternal system to maintain a cool temperature. This continuous sweating will empty out all the fluids in your body, which stops the function of your natural cooling system and puts your body in a state of overheating. Drinking water and replenishing your system is essential to make up for the fluids you've lost. A similar situation can arise in a closed room that lacks the proper ventilation and cooling. A sudden heat wave or change in climate after air travel can also be a potential trigger. Athletes are less likely to suffer from heat illness due to the lethal combination of heat, humidity, and exercise. This is all something to think about the next time you're planning a tropical getaway. Before we move ahead, here's another video that might interest you. Watch our video on vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms that should never be ignored. Number 4. Age Younger adults can handle heat cramps a little better than children and older adults. Not only are these two groups vulnerable to heat cramps, but also heat stroke and dehydration. Young children aren't able to adjust their body temperature to the environment. This is how heat stroke gets them so easily. Your children produce more body heat than you. Their bodies are just naturally warmer. As for older people, well, those over the age of 60 aren't as good at temperature regulation. 
Sweat is produced by glands in your skin. As age catches up, sweat glands start shrinking in size. From here, less sweat is produced. This makes the natural cooling process of our bodies extremely sluggish. So what are the symptoms? Heat cramps can develop slowly, while other times they're quicker. Sometimes involuntary muscle twitches are ignored until they evolve into more severe forms. When a person has heat cramps, they often feel sharp muscle pains. You'll also develop red skin and begin to sweat. This sweating can lead to a fever. Pay attention to these signs in your legs, arms, back, and abs. How long do they last? While heat cramps usually last for short periods, they can still really hurt. It's necessary to take immediate action to reduce their severity and prevent these cramps from turning into a much more serious condition. They may resolve themselves without the need of doctors, but you don't want to take this chance. What can be done to get relief from heat cramps? Number one, rest. Stop all physical activity at once and shift to a well-ventilated, cooler location. Lie down on your back for a bit. Get rid of the layers covering you. A soft, cool object can be used on your face, neck, or chest to reduce the body temperature. In the case of heat cramp, your break from physical activity is recommended to be around seven days. Now, I know this isn't possible for everybody. We all have busy schedules. Just try and stay off your feet as much as you can. Number two, rehydrate. Heat cramps indicate your body is running low on fluids. Top it up with cold drinks. Water is obviously the best drink you can have. Juices and sports drinks containing electrolytes can also be awesome. Sodium and potassium rich drinks will give you fast relief from cramps. Don't stop having these drinks even after symptoms have gone away. Number three, get a massage and stretch. Ask for help if you're in severe pain. Massaging the affected area with firm but gentle pressure is beneficial. Be sure to gently stretch out the affected muscle without any sudden jerks. How can you prevent heat cramps in the future? By now, I'm sure you understand how important it is to consume water and other fluids. Pour yourself a glass of water every now and then, even if you're not feeling thirsty. There's no correct time to consume water or other health drinks. You can safely drink it before, during, or after your workout session. Planning on spending the day out in the sun? Make sure to eat foods rich in electrolytes before stepping out. Juicy, nutritious fruits and veggies will do the trick. Go easy on your beverages. Alcohol and caffeine are known to remove fluids from your body and dehydrate you. It's wise to step out in mild sunlight during the early morning hours or evening. If you don't have any AC in your home, try to invest in a fan. When are heat cramps an emergency? Consider calling 911 if you feel the following. Fainting, dizziness, temperature above 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius, weak pulse, fast breathing, fast heartbeat, and dry skin. Most of the time, home treatment works well with adults and babies, but if the symptoms fail to resolve, contact your doctor ASAP. Your health is no laughing matter. When you're not doing well, your body reacts in terrifying ways to get your attention. Let's take a look at a couple more health-related videos, shall we? Check out six signs your liver can't stand your lifestyle anymore. You can also try 12 healthy foods you should eat in the morning to kickstart your day. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to avoid sickness. How do you beat the heat in the summer? Let us know in the comments below.